uh, <laughs> we're gonna have to cut this. So let's start that. We'll just record that again. All right, Preston here, Preston Go Auto. I've got 2023 Toyota Tundra Capstone Edition with me today. This one comes in the Wind Chill Pearl White, which really looks good. That uh, you can see the metallic flakes in there when you get really close, but it looks really, really clean. You got the metallic handles coming around. You can see you got your badging for your capstone right here. That's how everyone knows you got the top of the line right there. Coming around the front, you've got your chrome wheels, which have dark chrome accents. These are 22 inch rims, the biggest ones they come with. This truck is equipped right here with the iForce Max. It's a twin turbo V6 hybrid motor. Puts out 437 horsepower, 583 foot pounds of torque. You've got self leveling LED headlights. <laughs> You can tell it's a hybrid. Toyota's got the marking, the, the accent of the blue here on this chrome uh, grill. Most of your Tundras is where you're going to see a big difference between the different trim levels is how your front end looks, what kind of accents it's got around the outside, and what the, the grill has as far as accenting here. So you'll have some that have colored, body colored. Some of them have just a black um, trim around this grill, but you can see here it's body colored looks really really clean coming around the side crisp lines the side of this truck looks really really good you've got nice lines that come off the front and then re-pick up over your rear fender let's come in here you can see here's our our window sticker for this truck this truck is obviously fully loated sticker price msrp 81898 really only has the up scale up pricing for the the white paint, floor liners, and spray and bed liner. Otherwise, everything comes standard that you see here with the capstone model, which is really great. Coming around back, we've got our five and a half foot bed. Really nice, big LED tail lights. Chrome bumper accents, so you got these chrome inlets. You can drop your tailgate here, nice soft open, but this one actually has a secret. We come around here not only do you see the power step but tundra's built in or toyota's built in a release for your tailgate so you don't have to be standing behind it if you got stuff you're carrying you come here you can hit it with your elbow whatever you need to and then you got this nice step for easy access up into the up into the bed of this truck really really nice to get in and out nice step down even for short guys like me Spray and bed liner, you can see this got a single 120 volt outlet in the bed. You got bed lighting, you got tie down points that you can get, and then you can build dividers. Toyota's giving you different ways to add dividers. Nice, nice weight to the, the tailgate. Seven, four pin trailer harness here, and then you've got a I like this. A lot of the trucks lately seem to be having a, a attachment points for your chains that are really hard to get your chains into if you got big connectors, but those have really, really good openings. So yeah, that's our walk around of this Toyota Tundra capstone. So let's take a look inside. All right, so we'll get in the front driver's seat, power running boards, good wide open entry. You get in here, you feel like you're commanding a spaceship here it's huge great great visibility you got this nice white leather upholstery accent here we got the 14 inch touchscreen display you're gonna find all your controls here you got your heated, heated steering wheel you got your bed lights on and off you've got your auto lights your lights fuel cap um, odometer trip all that stuff on the steering wheel we're gonna have our uh, phone settings over here's your cruise control this does have adaptive cruise control. And then you can see on the dash, you've got a good, um, nice layout. You got your tachometer here. And when you go through into different, we'll turn it on real quick and watch the startup screen here. Let's get it back on. You get this nice animation, Tundra iForce Max. And then this is adjustable. We haven't played with it, 
have it. I don't have it adjusted to any specific way, but you can adjust the screen to what you'd like. When you adjust your uh, different drive modes, you get different animations. So you have sport, normal, and eco. You get a little bit of an animation, nothing, nothing significant with that. But then we come to this middle screen, which we'll go through in a little bit. But you got this nice 14-inch screen that you can command. It's got app, wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Um, coming over here, if you can see on this side, you've got your brake controller module. That's fine. Yeah. That's fine. Yep. Are you recording? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So coming in here again at the dash, you've got your ventilated seats. It's got heated and ventilated seats, three different levels of that. Here's your brake controller for towing. This is your tow, uh, trailer mode. Here's your camera settings. So we'll look at the camera. It's got a 360 degree camera. We put the brake on and put it in reverse. We get to see the camera. You've got the nice overhead view. And then you've got these different camera views. You've got your front camera view side, which doesn't, the doors open. So you can't see down that side, your rear view. And then looking down the sides of the, the vehicle, here's your bed view. So you can get a good look at what you've got in the back of the truck. And then we go back to our main reverse camera. It's got dynamic lines for backing up. This green line's your tow hitch alignment. So as you're backing up to your trailer, you can line that um, really easy. Down here, we've got a wireless phone charger. Good cups, lots of, there's lots of space in this thing. Cup holders, huge cup holders, got the cover here. This opens up here. We've got a little tray that slides forward and back. A tiny little opening here that you can put your bubble gum or whatever you need. And then we've got a button opens up to this cavernous center console where you can put all sorts of stuff. You've got coins. You've got power, USB-A, USB-C. You can fit a lot of stuff in there. Here's your four-wheel drive controls. So it's push button. So you can go to four high, four low. You just push this button, move this back, forth to get that back. Your park brake. And then this has auto start and stop hold. So when you come to a stop, it holds it for you. You don't have to hold the brake to do that. I really like the knobs in here. Everything's really got good tactile feel. You can, you can adjust things. So a lot of vehicles have too much in the screen nowadays. But this, you can find your dials really easily. You can get to some of the more important things that you need. All your HVAC controls here above those very easy to use very comfortable to sit in a good commanding view if we look up here this has one of the camera mirrors so you can adjust that so you can go just to your regular reflective mirror go to your rear view camera which is nice when you have stuff in your truck bed be able to see out the back still coming up here we've got your controls for your nice panoramic uh, roof sunroof and your rear window so this controls your rear window up and down so you can see that back there it goes all the way down bring it back up toyota is one of the only companies that has a rear view uh or a rear window that goes open like that and then here's your panoramic roof it's amazing huge panoramic sunroof from here forward we can also open that so we get that all the way back and then we open this it opens all the way back here. So you got a nice opening, get some of that nice fresh air in here. And then we close that. I really, I'm always torn on the sunroofs. They're hit or miss on whether I think they're functional. This one looks really nice. It's got a really big opening, big sunroof. But I also like that you can close the shade. If you don't want all that sun coming in, I don't want to get sunburned. So yeah, overall, love the cabin. It's nice laid out. These grip holders have on this capstone, you got a lot of extra little uh, features on here, like this covered leather on your, your handle here. Nice metal opener for your door. Yeah, it's a good solid door. I like this truck. I don't know that anyone couldn't like this truck. I mean, it's a beautiful truck. Right, nice ride. Um, it's very comfortable to sit in and you got a good view. So anyone could drive, hop in this and feel comfortable despite the fact that it's a large truck. 
um, full size truck. So I think this truck is rated to tow 12,000 pounds, 1930 on the payload. And obviously that varies with each um, trim that you get based on the features that come in it. So the more features it has, a lot of that payload gets affected by the features. But all right, so stepping into the back of this, good wide opening. Man, this the back seat here is huge. I'm I have this front seat set to me. I'm only five eight, but man, you could you could have a six way over six foot tall person up there and you'd still have plenty of room. Good headspace even with this full panoramic roof. There's a little inlet here above the head for someone taller. But this good huge bench, you got heated and ventilated seats for both outboard passengers back here. Another USB A, USB C outlet, and a 120 volt plug. A couple drink holders here. This center center armrest pops down. You've got two more cup holders here. Good little place to put your arm. Over here, you got these window shades for both back windows, which is really nice if you have kids. They're not complaining about the sun being in their head. Power windows, good storage on the door. Um, really good. This back seat, if we look at this, pull this up. Don't get quite a flat flat floor, but you do get a flat area across the back under the seats. This is where your battery lives for the hybrid motor, okay? So if you're wondering where's that battery stored, it's right here under the back seat. That's why we don't have a flat floor because that's where we're putting the battery. So great back seat, great front seat. This truck's got lots of space. In the front, you get both driver and passenger get a 10-way power adjustable seat with four-way power adjustable lumbar support. They also have the thigh extenders to give you added comfort on long road trips. The seats in this truck came upholstered in a semi-aniline leather covering that is perforated. You get, again, the heated and ventilated seats in the front, as well as the rear outboard seats. This also comes with the latch anchors for your child safety seats in the outboard positions of the rear seat. This Toyota Tundra comes with Toyota Safety Sense 2.5 and has a total of eight airbags in case of an accident. This truck also came with a heads-up display. We weren't able to show that, but it did come with a full heads-up display. I just want to thank Corwin Toyota for letting me have this truck for a few, uh, few hours. It's a great truck. If you have any questions, you want any further information on a truck like this or this exact one, contact Quincy at Corwin Toyota, 5115 New Car Drive. They will get you hooked up with anything you need. If you have any other Toyotas you want to look at, they also got a lot of stock here today. So come on out, take a, take a look.